It's November 29th. Spotify Wrapped has officially dropped. That's right. It's the most annoying day alive on Instagram. The day where every single person that has a Spotify account posts their Spotify Wrapped. It's the most wonderful time to be a part of Spotify. Anyways, <laughs> I quite enjoy Spotify rap and I think it's really fun. I think it says a lot about a person. I think it's a great way to get to know a person, a lot about their taste in music, what podcasts they listen to. I did this the last two years. So you can go check those out. Those are definitely somewhere on my channel. I'll link one or two, maybe in the description if you're lucky. <laughs> but today I have foregoed looking at it all day just so I can blind react on camera. It's pitiful. Also, Spotify loves every single year to like throw some sort of new little theme every year that no one cares about. Their engineers and creative designers spend way too much time going into like the theme of Spotify wrapped every year. No one cares. We just want the info. That's all. Your Spotify wrapped 2023 is here. Let's dive right in. Hello you, it's rap time, ready? Let's do this. Your 2023 year was a feast for your ears. You listened to 21 genres. Your top, whoa, whoa, this moves way too fast, by the way. How did your taste stack up? Okay, oh, we got a little sandwich. They really do the most with these graphics. Top genres, pop rock, rap, folk rock, and POV indie, what does that mean? Okay. This year, your listening took you places. And one place listened just like you. San Luis Abiso, USA. Sure. Butchered that name completely. Sure. You played 980 songs in 2023. And there was one that really connected. Your top song was Late Night Talking by Harry Styles. You played it 21 times this year. This moves too fast. I can't read it that fast. Starting on January 9th, and it still sounds perfect. It still does. But you had room in your heart for one... Oh, for more than one favorite. Hmm. You romantic, you. These make me cringe so much. Spotify rap makes me cringe so much. Your top songs. First top song, Late Night Talking by Harry Styles. Duh. Second, Grape Juice. I'm kind of surprised by Grape Juice being my second because like, it's a good song. It's like a sneaky, sneaky bop. Okay, keep driving. Sure. Kind of surprised by that one. Number four, Satellite. Satellite's been one of those songs that like, it's a lot like New Light by John Mayer to me. Like I will throw it on at any time and it makes me so happy. Like it just, it does something inside of me that I can't explain. And if you know, you know. It's just like the best car bop. When I'm in the car by myself, maybe slightly in my feels, throw on Satellite by Harry Styles. In number five, Kill Bill. This is like a whole new album this last year. It was kind of a no skips for me. Dude, I'm such a binge listener. If I like something, it will be the only thing I digest, ingest? The only thing I take in will absolutely devour an album for about three months and then never listen to it again. Interesting. All right, your top songs 2023. I do love the playlist they put together because it's just like the songs that you wanted to listen to anyways, you know? They're doing the hard work for us. Time is construct, but we kept track anyway. You listened to 18,055 minutes. That's 12 days nonstop. Dang it. Every year, I really try to listen to a lot of music partially because I want to have a really high number of listening. I want to be up in the 25,000 range at least. I know a girl that will get up into the 60s, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of a competition. 36 would be really cool. 36,000 hours. But like also, what does that say about you? You need to be alone with your thoughts every once in a while, you know? It would be good to be alone with your thoughts. Sometimes. You peaked on September 1st at 320 minutes. What was I doing? 320 minutes? I might have been driving back from Canada. You're the top 21% of listeners worldwide. Nice. You listened to 563 artists this year, but one came out on top. Any guesses? By my top songs, can you guess who it is? Harry Styles. You had something special with your top artists. Here's how you spent... 
time with them across the year. Number one, Harry Styles peak listening month was May. That would be, ladies and gentlemen, the month that I got to see him in concert in Scotland. It was great. Let me just say, money well spent. Number two, Taylor Swift, peak listening month, October, which is, if you keep up with Taylor Swift at all, the month she released 1989 Taylor's version. The vault songs, they just hit different to me. They just, they truly hit different to me. Number three, SZA, peak month was February. This is interesting. I like knowing this. This is cool because like, like I said, I'm a binge person. Like I binge people. Who else? Anyone else? Oh, number four, the 1975. I peaked listening to them in May. Okay, doesn't have to do with 1975 going on tour, yes. Whenever everyone was like absolute fangirling over Maddie Healy on TikTok, I was right there with them. I was right there with the masses, indulging, you know? I'd never been a fan of the 1975 before. But I like finally understood it this year. Committed to listening to some songs and then I completely get it. And watching like the videos from the concert. I want to go. Number five, Frank Ocean. August. That's interesting. Frank Ocean is one of those people that like, I will always have a soft spot for the album Blonde. Brings me back to like a certain time in my life, college, and then also like those songs don't get old for me. I like to recycle through it. Also, it's one of the albums that I have downloaded on my phone. If I'm ever on the plane and I want like just an album for takeoff or landing, or maybe I'm in my feels in the clouds, throw on some Blonde stare out the window and look mysterious. Your top artists. Number one, Harry Styles. Number two, Taylor Swift. Number three, SZA. Number four, 1975. That's, that's insane to me. Having never really listened to their songs before this year. Number five, Frank Ocean, which just says like, I think the top three, yes. Those people, I absolutely consumed their songs constantly. For number four and five, Frank Ocean and 1975, that's just like, oh, out of everything else I listened to, these were the other most, like, most common. Interesting. Hold up. Someone's on the other line. Okay. This is a special message from me to you. I don't, I don't need that. Eh. Has anyone ever told you that you're a great listener? Well, you are. You spent 12,071 minutes with podcasts this year. I've kind of transitioned to watching podcasts on YouTube a lot more than I have been listening. If I'm out on the go, I'm listening to podcasts probably. If I'm not in the mood to listen to music. Number one, The Toast, Always and Forever. Those are my girls. I listen to them daily. The best. The best. Number two, Anything Goes with Emma Chamberlain. I'm kind of surprised about this, but like I'll pretty much always listen to her podcast. I've gone through like a big chunk this year where I'm like, I don't always need philosophical podcasts. You know what I mean? I would rather listen to her talk about just absolute random things. Number three, Smartless. Whenever their documentary came out on HBO this year, Max whatever you want to call it. I binged that. I loved it. I love those guys anyways, especially Jason Bateman. Like, absolutely adore him. Loved him in Ozark. Like, that made me fall in love with them. So, I really enjoyed, like, seeing their personalities. They're very sarcastic. They're very funny. They make fun of each other and, like, pick at each other. They have on super famous people. A-list, movie stars, stuff like that. So, it's really fun to hear their conversations with them. They relate on the same level as those people. Easy for them to talk about anything and everything. They always have some sort of cool experiences or stories. So, that's been fun. I don't always care about the people that they have on. When I do, I definitely give it a listen. They're fun kind of just to throw in the cycle of podcasts that I go through. And then number four, sneaky favorite of the year that I've just really come to look forward to. It's Brooke and Connor make a podcast. I think they were on mine last year as well. They're the definition of talking about everything and nothing at the same time. I love their dynamic. I think they're hilarious. They're a fun time. They're fun to just hang out with for an hour each week. Number five is like my new love. It's my new crush ride with Benito Skin. Skinner and Mary Beth Barone. They're also a great dynamic, best friends, hilarious. I just giggle the whole time listening to them. They're just great. I don't know what to say. They're comedians and I love to laugh. One moment, please. We're turning off the lights. Ooh, that's better. Okay. The way you listen this year makes you a hero. Does it? Or maybe shall we say anti-hero? I think I know where this is going. Tap to reveal. <gasps> Alchemist. Listening is your laboratory. You create your own playlist more than other listeners do. Nice work, Doc. I don't feel like I make that many playlists. That was fun. Yeah, sure it was. Same time next year? You bet it. 
so that's that on that spotify rap 2023 in three words duh huh and all right <laughs> oh yeah that about wraps it up that was one of the more yeah okay i knew that which i don't know maybe i need to start listening to different kinds of music i feel like for me this last year music in a way was a distraction i listen to music to not think about other things i guess you could say so like i know what those albums are going to be to help me just like be happy or cruise on through just like comfort music for me this last year was comfort it changes year to year and this just wasn't one of those years where i was like up to listening to new songs <laughs> i wasn't like seeking out new artists new songs new types of music because I just wanted what I knew was going to feed my soul, you know? So that was fun. Isn't it always a good time? Did you have fun hanging out with me? If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment your top artist this year, your top song. I'd love to hear it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go watch the other two that I've made before. And I make lots of other cool videos too, in my opinion. That wraps up Spotify 2023. Wrapped it up, put a bow on it, gave it away as a gift to you all. All right, now I'm rambling. I really need to go. Thanks for watching. I love you. Have a good rest of your day. All right, bye.